Hi guys! Ang topic natin for today is differential equation and let's continue solving some family of curves. Problem number one, let's define the differential equation for the family of circles with fixed radius r and tangent to the x-axis. So take note na fix yung radius na r, meaning pare-pareho yung magiging size ng ating circles and lahat sila ay tangent sa x-axis. So, drawing lang tayo ng representative curves or representative circles for this problem. Ano bang ibig sabihin kapag tangent? Pag sinabing tangent, meaning yung isang point nung curve mo ay nagtatouch sa isang line. For this case, yung isang point ng circle natin is magtatouch sa x-axis. So, draw tayo ng representative circles na may radius na r and tangent sa x-axis. Drawing tayo for the first quadrant. So, may radius yan na r. And ang center niya ay nasa positive x and positive y. So, tawagin natin yung center na h and k. So, for the first quadrant, yung center niya ay nasa positive h and positive k. Next, drawing tayo ng representative circle sa quadrant 2 na same size, meaning same radius din. And again, ang radius niya ay R. Dito, negative na yung X pero positive pa rin yung Y. So, yung center niya is nasa negative age but positive k. Draw tayo ngayon sa third quadrant. Sa third quadrant, again, same dimension na circle. Radius na r. Tapos, yung center niya, so, dito negative yung x, negative na rin yung y. So, yung center niya is nasa negative h and negative k. Last, drawing tayo sa fourth quadrant. So, ito yung kanyang radius, r. Dito, positive si x, so positive h. Pero negative si y, so this is negative k. So, lahat ng circles natin ay tangent sa x-axis. Ito yung point of tangency. So, nag-touch lang yung isang point ng circle sa x-axis. Notice dito sa bawat circle natin, or sa representative circle natin, yung location ng center with respect sa y-axis. Ito, no? Try natin to. Ang distance niya from 0 ay equal sa r. Same dito. Ang distance mula dito ay r. Ganon din dito. And ganon din dito. So, we can say that k is also equal to r. So, writing the centers for this circle, yung centers nila ay nasa positive and negative age. Tapos yung k, equal siya sa r. So, positive, negative, positive, and negative, r. Sulat natin ngayon yung equation for the circles na merong fixed radius r and tangent to the x-axis. So, x plus minus h square plus y plus minus, so yung k niya is r squared, that is equal to r squared. Ilan ngayon yung arbitrary constant natin for this problem? So, fix yung radius na r, meaning ito ay parameter, si age yung arbitrary constant. So, let lang natin that r is a parameter, meaning hindi kailangang i-eliminate 
and age is the arbitrary constant. So, kung sa age lang yung arbitrary constant natin, once lang tayo magdi-differentiate. So, differentiate natin ngayon itong ating equation. Derivative ng first term. So, power rule. We'll have 2 multiplied by derivative or 2 multiplied by this term. X plus minus H times derivative ng nasa loob. So, derivative ng X is 1 derivative ng plus minus h is 0 kasi constant siya plus derivative ng second term so 2 times y plus minus h or sorry 2 times y plus minus should be r multiplied by the derivative of this derivative ng y is y prime and derivative ng r. So, kahit siya ay parameter, take note na siya ay constant pa din. So, ang derivative niya ay 0. That is equal to derivative ng r squared. So, parameter is a constant. So, derivative niya is 0. So, notice, again, na common factor si 2. So, dividing the whole equation by 2, pwede natin i-cancel out yan. So, simplify natin x plus minus h plus y prime multiplied by y plus minus r that is equal to 0. So, isa lang ang arbitrary constant. Once lang tayo magdi-differentiate, kaya lang nandito pa din yung ating arbitrary constant. So, hindi na tayo pwedeng mag-differentiate but instead we'll use algebraic solution to eliminate the arbitrary constant. Notice, itong ating original equation, nagko-contain siya ng x plus minus h. So, pwede natin palitan itong whole term na to with this. So, rearrange lang natin yung equation. Solve natin si x plus minus h. So, lipat natin sa kabilang side. Ito. So, negative y prime times quantity y plus minus R. So, ipalit natin ngayon ito for this. Negative y prime times y plus minus r. That is, this is x plus minus h square plus y plus minus r squared equals the right side, r squared. So, pag ito ay next man natin, add. So, let's square these terms. So, negative y prime squared, that will be positive. y prime squared multiplied by y plus minus r squared. Expand that into. So, y squared plus minus 2ry plus so square ng positive and negative r positive lang yun r squared is equal to r squared pag nilipan natin to sa left side that will become negative so we can cancel them out so we now have the differential equation for the family of circles na merong radius na r fixed radius r and tangent sa x-axis. So, that is equal to y prime squared multiplied by y plus minus r squared plus y squared plus minus 2ry is equal to 0. Problem number 2. Define the family of all parabolas with axis parallel to the x-axis. Pag sinabing yung axis is parallel to the x-axis, meaning yung symmetric axis niya is parallel to the x-axis or it's either facing to the right or to the left. Drawing muna tayo ng representative parabolas for this problem. 
Let's say, ito yung ating unang parabola. With location ng vertex, positive age, and positive k. Tapos, with the distance from the vertex to its focus as positive a. Then, let's try drawing a parabola na, na facing naman sa left. So, yung location ng vertex niya is negative age, pero positive k. And, dahil facing sa left, yung location or yung kanyang focus is negative. Next, try natin mag-drawing sa third quadrant ng parabola na facing to the right. So, positive yung focus. Pero yung location ng vertex niya ay negative age, negative k. Then, sa fourth quadrant, drawing ulit tayo ng facing to the left. So, negative yung A. Location ng vertex is positive age, but negative K. If the parabola has the symmetric axis parallel with the x-axis, our equation is Y minus K squared equals 4a multiplied by x minus h. So, yung ating parabolas ay merong vertex. So, yung parabola natin, notice na yung vertex nila ay nasa positive age, negative, 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 positive. So, positive and negative age. Tapos, yung y-coordinates, so, positive and negative, k. So, pabago-bago yung coordinates na to. Next thing, yung location ng focus from the vertex ay pabago-bago din. Kaya, kung mapapansin nyo, iba-iba yung size ng parabola natin. Meaning, Yung arbitrary constants natin ay yung vertex, x and y coordinates, and yung a. So, meron tayong tatlong arbitrary constant for this problem. Sulat natin yung magiging equation. y minus plus minus k, so plus minus k squared equals, yung a natin is positive and negative. So, positive and negative for A multiplied by H is also positive and negative. So, X plus minus H. Again, meron tayong tatlong arbitrary constant. H, K, and A. Meaning, tatlong beses din tayo magdi-differentiate. So, differentiate natin once. Derivative ng nasa left side is 2 multiplied by y plus minus k. Derivative ng term sa loob is y prime. Ito magiging 0. So, that is equal to constant multiplied by this term. Derivative ng term na to. So, derivative ng x is 1. And derivative ng plus minus h is 0. Kaya yung right side natin is plus minus 4a lang. We can divide the whole equation by 2. Common siya. So, cancelled. Ito magkakaroon lang tayo ng 2. Simplifying our equation, we'll have here y plus minus k times y prime that is equal to 
plus minus 2a. So, next, differentiate ulit tayo. Two terms, product ng two terms. So, we'll use the product rule. So, the first term multiplied by the derivative of the second term. Derivative ng y prime is y double prime plus the second term. Derivative ng first term is y prime equals derivative ng constant Again, that is equal to 0. So, simplify lang ulit natin to. Second term, so, product of itself, so, magiging square, equal 0. So, take note, trice tayo ang di-differentiate. Differentiate ulit natin to. So, derivative ng terms na to using product rule, the first term multiplied by the derivative of the second term y triple prime plus the second term derivative ng first term that is y prime plus derivative ng y prime squared is 2 y prime derivative ng y prime is y double prime, that is equal to 0. Pwede natin mapag-add itong terms na to. y plus minus k y third prime plus 3 y prime y double prime equal 0. Try sa tayo nakapag-differentiate and again, nandito ulit, nandito pa din yung arbitrary constant natin hindi na tayo pwede mag-differentiate. Algebraic solution na yung gagamitin natin. So, anong gagawin natin? Notice, pwede nating isulat itong buong equation na to in terms of this. So, lipat natin sa kabila. Then, divide the whole equation by y third prime. We'll have y plus minus k that is equal to negative 3y prime y double prime divided by y third prime. Saan natin ngayon ipapalit itong terms na to? Dito ba? So, hindi dyan. Ano? Kasi sa right side, meron pang isang arbitrary constant. Hanapin natin yung second derivative. So, ito. Yung ating second derivative. Notice na ang arbitrary constant na lang dyan is k. So, pwede natin ipalit to doon. So, pakalit natin. Negative 3 y prime y double prime divided by y third prime multiplied by y double prime plus y prime squared is equal to 0. common term si y prime so we can divide the whole equation or pwede natin siyang i-factor out then divide the whole equation by y prime and multiply natin yung whole equation by y third prime so para tayong nag multiply by y third prime and nag divide ng y prime so, our differential equation for this now is nine positive term y third prime multiplied by y prime minus this terms 3 y double prime squared is equal to 0. This now represents the differential equation for the family of parabolas with axis parallel to the x-axis.